You know, it's going to be weird, man, when they do decide to come back because they did a poll. I think it was Seton Hall did a poll. And they said over 70% of people, even when they're allowed to come back, they're going to be fearful of going into big crowds. So there might not be big crowds at the arenas. And what they're talking about, if the NBA season completes or whatever, you might have games without fans. Could you even imagine? I mean, even from a viewer standpoint, Donnie, watching a game without fans. And I can't even imagine you playing in front of a, an arena that's not full. Mike, I think I know how they can do it. They can seat people every three rows, like one, then three, 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 then another person. Just break them up. Yeah. 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 Six feet distance, the social yeah. distance that way too. Hey, that's like a high school. That, that's a high school crowd, right? <laughs> well, let me you know what? Hey, and, and the they got to take they got to take the drinks out of there too, because once they start drinking, they gonna. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, they gonna be high five and all that stuff, man. You yeah, know, man, get into yeah. the game. Yeah. But Ron, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, Ronde. Would you rather play with nobody in the crowd or with some people in the crowd? Well, how? What would you rather play? I like energy, man. I'm big on energy. You know, like, I, I, I want some fans. I ain't going to always... But say, but say it only be so many fans. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. With social distancing. We might need them, them, them 60 people to be like, boo, for the free throw. <laughs> <We might need. laughs> but the energy, I mean, that's what they call home, home quarter, home field advantage, man. You need that energy. You know, like, yeah. even for us, Donnie, like doing this, it's a little different for us because yeah. we're used to a live studio audience and we feed off that energy from the studio audience, man, when we're into our show and we get a rhythm out of that, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. and this shit is boring doing this. I'm telling you, like, for most of me and Mike, this shit is be boring. Like, you, like I can hear myself. I feel like I'll be talking to myself sometimes. I hear myself echoing back to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What Donnie is trying to say is that we're not boring. This is not a boring show. With Donnie is yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. we would prefer to do something a little bit more exciting. Exactly. This is the Mike right. and Donnie show where we're very entertaining and we're informative. Right, Donnie? That's right, baby. I wasn't <laughs> meaning like that. We have a good show. Hey, I ain't gonna hey, lie. Mike, Mike, you remember? Mike, you remember back in 1987 during the uh, the strike, the NFL strike in 1987? Mm -hmm. I was in my third year, and. You know, I played, uh, played my rookie year, started. Uh, I had a decent season. The second year, I even had a little better season. And then that third year, we played like four or five games and then went on strike. Mm -hmm. And then they brought in these scabs. Them? Scabs, yeah. yeah. They yeah. brought in players. They brought in guys from down here at Home Depot to play. <laughs> Manny. Straight up, Rondé. Dude, dude. People uh, and we would what we would do is let me give you some some uh, some history here. We would take buses because we still were there. We'd get in a bus and we would go to the stadium and watch these dudes practice. And they were bankers, insurance people, guys that made it, maybe played in college. They were basically and then some of the guys jumped the line to play. You know, some mm -hmm. of the guys that they they jumped the picket line. To play, you know, some mm -hmm. of the guys that they they jump the picket line. So we would wait for them after practice in this bus, and they would come out, and we would just throw everything we had at them: <laughs> eggs, uh, tomatoes, because they were in our lockers. Uh -huh. You know, guys that have busted their butt to get that locker and, and be on a team. So that's just you know, and and then they played the games, and there was hardly anybody in the games. I think yeah. so. It was um, terrible football. I remember that. I mean, I, I think them doing that actually helped with you guys coming back because the football was so terrible. So they, bad, you guys right. couldn't be replaced. Yeah. You know? So they saw how valuable you were. So it was almost a blessing in disguise. But you yeah. bring up a good point, man, because right now, even though it's not a strike or anything, there are going to be some players, players aren't going to getting paid. Like, I don't know, Rondé, are they, How's the NBA right now? Are they still giving you your paychecks uh, or are they still coming in? What, what's the deal? Man, I heard my last check come on the 15th, man. I need to call somebody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Dre, hey, you got some room over there, Drake? 